In this video, we'll guide you through creating a workspace in Tonic. As a quick recap before we start, Tonic is a platform that allows you to generate safe, secure, de-identified versions of your data. You can use this generated data for use cases such as software testing or to populate a staging environment. So what is a Tonic workspace? A Tonic workspace provides a context within which to configure and run data generation. Each Tonic workspace includes where to find the source data to transform during data generation, where to write the transform data, the rules for the transformation, and any actions to perform after the generation. When you start a Tonic free trial, Tonic creates a sample workspace that connects to a sample database that you can use to try out Tonic's features. If you'd like, you can also connect to your own data. From the Workspaces tab, click Create Workspace, then select Create New Workspace, and you'll be given the options to connect to your own database. Every workspace must have connection information for the source and destination databases. The source database contains the data that you want to transform. You need to connect to source data before you can configure any data generation. The destination database is an empty database where Tonic writes the transform data. You need to connect to a destination database before you can run any data generations. The source and destination databases are always of the same type. For example, they might both be PostgreSQL databases or both MySQL databases. When you create a workspace, select the data connector type that stores your source data. Tonic natively supports several application databases, data warehouses, and Spark-based data solutions. When you select the data connector type, Tonic displays the connection fields for the source and destination databases. The connection details for each database include the database server location and the authentication credentials. If your database server only allows connections from allow listed IP addresses, then you need to add the Tonic IP address to your allow list. For the list of IP addresses to allow list, see the Frequently Asked Questions tab in the Tonic documentation. Under Source Server, provide the connection information for your source database. Then you can use Test Source Connection to make sure that Tonic can connect to the database. Then underneath Destination Server, you can do the same. Provide the connection information for the destination database, and then use Test Data Connection to make sure that Tonic can also connect successfully to this database. To complete workspace creation, then click Save Workspace. Tonic runs an initial sensitivity scan on the new workspace to look for personally identifiable information and other types of sensitive data. It displays the results on the Privacy Hub. From there, you can view the results and start to configure the data transformation. And that concludes our introduction to creating a Tonic workspace. To learn more, check out our other videos, our blogs, or the Tonic product docs.